Hello everyone, it's Katie the Yogi and today we have a yoga for office jobs class and this is really targeting the lower spine uh, for all of you people that are stuck sat at a desk all day. Now particularly we've got loads and loads of people that are stuck inside uh, due to coronavirus and everyone working from home which is really really difficult and sometimes we really just need a great big stretch after being stuck at our desk, you know, our spine's all squashed, we just really need that great great big stretch for our whole body and this is exactly what this is going to do for you. It's going to be working mainly on the lower back which is a big problem area for office job workers uh, and that's what we're going to be work focusing on today. So I really hope you all enjoy and let's get straight into it. So we're going to first start with a sun salutation, a half a style sun salutation and I'm adding a couple of moves in here so don't be too thrown off. So starting with our feet hip width distance apart, we're going to take a lovely inhale, raising up our hands above our head, taking that into a lovely back bend. Before nice and gently exhaling as we come forward, hinging from the hips and feeling a lovely stretch in the back of the legs in our forward fold position. In this position you can either choose a tabletop position with a nice straight back if you do have back problems or you can hinge all the way down bending the back slightly trying to get those fingertips towards the ground or towards the toes and we're just imagining in this posture that our chest is coming down towards the toes rather than our nose coming towards our knees because we don't want to bend the back too much we're just trying to get our fingertips towards the ground and when we're ready in this position, we can start to think about bending our knees, pressing our palms down towards the floor, and stepping both legs back into a high plank position, tightening that core, focusing on having a nice straight body. We've got a lovely straight line from the crown of our head right back to our heels. And then nice and gently, we can start to pop those, both of those knees on the floor and press our chest down towards the floor as well. We've got our hips facing towards the sky, our chin up and our feet flexed as well. And then with a lovely inhale, we can think about scooping that body forward, relaxing the feet and coming into cobra, baby cobra to start with, just propping ourselves up on our forearms. And then if we're feeling ready for it today, we can work on our back flexibility and come up onto our full extended arms. If you're ready for it today, just gazing towards the sky, taking a lovely deep breath, really feeling this posture. And then we can start to think about tucking both of our toes underneath our body and pushing our hips all the way up towards the sky in our first downward facing dog of the session. Now this position is particularly good for the lower back because it really takes any pressure off of the lower back and into our shoulders instead. So in this position, we can choose to bend our knees to keep that back nice and straight if needed, or we can keep those legs extended, but we want to try and make sure our back is lovely and straight as we gaze towards our toes nice and gently. And then when we're ready, we can bring our gaze towards our fingertips and take an inhale as we step our right leg forward into first a high lunge position, then raising up our hands above our head into warrior one position, gazing towards the fingertips, taking that lovely strong stance, feeling that pressure in the legs. We've got our front knee is directly above our front ankle got that lovely alignment. We want to have a lovely straight line from our fingertips right back down towards our back ankle. Then with a lovely inhale, we can bring our left hand behind and open up our hips into warrior two position. We can feel that lovely stretch in the hips there and we're going to gaze towards the right fingertips. Taking a lovely inhale and exhaling in this posture. Feeling that tension in the legs there. We can think about 
windmilling our arms down towards our straight leg and bringing our right hand towards the sky in Sun Warrior. Gazing towards those fingertips towards the sky and then exhaling to bring those hands back down and we're going to windmill our arms all the way down towards the front foot in that high lunge position now. Inhaling nice and deeply then bringing our back leg forward to join the front leg into our nice forward fold position, lovely and familiar there. Just reaching down towards the ground with our fingertips or of course with a straight back if that's more comfortable for you. And then with a lovely inhale we can raise up our hands above our head but we're going to keep the knees bent in a chair pose. So gazing towards our fingertips which are above our head we're going to have our knees nice and bent and we're going to have our bottom tucked in in this chair position. So just imagine that you're sitting down on a chair, but of course there is no chair there. You can really feel that in the legs, starting to feel that tension. And then as we inhale, we can straighten the legs, breathe in towards the sky and then take that into a lovely back bend. Really stretching out that back and opening the heart and exhaling forward and coming into a lovely standing posture. Lovely, give your shoulders a little bit of a circle, give your body whatever movement it needs, give yourself a little bit of a wiggle, perhaps rotate the ankles, perhaps rotate the wrists and most definitely rotate the shoulders and arms, feeling that lovely stretch. Now here would be a great time to grab some water. And then of course we shall do the other side, so. Okay, so now for the other side, we're bringing our feet hip width distance apart towards the front of the mat once more. And we're going to take a lovely inhale, raising up our hands above our head. And then gently taking that into a nice back bend. Then exhaling, we can come back up and hinge forward from the hips into that lovely forward fold position. Again, either with a lovely straight back if you suffer from back problems, or you could arch slightly, trying to bring those fingertips towards the ground. But again, remembering we want to get our chest towards our toes, not our nose towards our knees. Because as you can see, that causes a little bit too much of a hunch in the back. So then we can start to bend our knees, press our palms down towards the floor and step both legs back into a high plank position, keeping that core nice and tight got a lovely straight line from the crown of our head right back towards the ankles. You can really feel that pressure there in the core. And then we can start to lower our knees, lower our chest down towards the floor as well. We've got our hips up, our feet flexed and our chin off the floor. In this position, you can feel that lovely back bend. And then inhaling as we, as we pull our body forward into baby cobra, just resting the chest up on those forearms and relaxing the feet. If you're feeling flexible today, you can come up onto those full extended arms into full cobra, gazing towards the ceiling, making sure we've got lots of space between our ears and our shoulders. We don't want to feel all hunched up like this, we want to feel elongated, gazing up above towards the sky. Then tucking our toes underneath our body and pushing our hips all the way up towards the sky, going back into our lovely downward facing dog, taking pressure off of the lower back. We're gazing towards the toes and of course you can bend your knees in this posture if that's necessary to keep your back lovely and straight. Keeping the back nice and straight is a priority in this position. So then lovely gazing towards our fingertips, 
We're going to then step our left leg forward between the fingertips this time into that high lunge, keeping the back knee off of the floor. And with a lovely inhale, we can start to raise up our hands above our head into warrior one position, gazing towards our fingertips, that lovely straight line from the fingertips right back towards the back ankle, keeping that lovely strong form in the legs. And then we're going to open up the hips, bring that right hand towards the right leg, towards the back of the mat, and opening up into warrior two position, gazing towards those left fingertips. Keeping a nice strong form with our legs. We want to keep our back nice and straight. Our bottom is tucked in and our core is engaged as well. Making sure that our front knee is directly above our front ankle. We're going to bring our right hand towards our right leg, raise up the left hand towards the sky, coming into Sun Warrior. Just gazing towards the sky, bringing those fingertips towards the sky, stretching out that side of our body. And as we exhale, we can bring both hands down, bringing them towards the front of the mat, and down into our high lunge position once more. Taking a lovely deep breath here, realigning ourselves, and then beginning to step our right foot towards our left foot, towards the front of the mat, back into our forward fold position. Nice and gently there. Either we've got our nice straight back again in tabletop, or we're gazing towards our toes, trying to reach those fingertips towards the ground. Once again, our chest towards the ground rather than our nose towards our knees. With a lovely inhale, we're going to start to bend our knees and bring our chest up back into chair pose. Gazing towards those fingertips, we can feel the tension in our legs and we want to make sure our bottom is tucked in. Now this takes pressure off of the lower back. So just imagining there's a nice comfortable chair there and then keeping that nice and straight for one more breath before then raising up, bringing our hands up above our head towards the sky and inhaling to take that into a lovely back bend. And inhaling once more to come back into our prayer pose or standing pose. Lovely. Okay, so we're going to do one more sun salutation, but this one's going to be a little bit different. So bringing those feet hip width distance apart one more time. Taking a lovely inhale, bringing your hands towards the sky and taking that into a lovely back bend once more. And then exhaling to bring our body forward, hinging from the hips into that lovely forward fold, either with a nice straight back or again bringing those fingertips down towards the ground. Then bending the knees slightly, pressing our palms down towards the floor and stepping both legs back into a high plank position, tensing the core, tensing the bottom and keeping that lovely straight line from the crown of the head right back to the ankles. Then lowering the knees towards the floor, lowering the chest towards the floor, keeping our hips up, feet flexed and chin off of the ground. And then inhaling to bring our body forward, lying down on the ground, but propping up our chest with our forearms in that lovely baby cobra position. And if we're feeling ready for it today, we can prop up our body on our full extended arms, gazing towards the sky, taking a nice deep breath, making sure our shoulders are far away from our ears, not hunched down, keeping that neck lovely and elongated. Then tucking our toes underneath our body and pushing our hips all the way up towards the sky, 
into our lovely downward facing dog position. We want to keep our back nice and straight and in order to do that we can of course bend the knees. So we're just gazing towards our toes, thinking about bringing those heels closer towards the ground, really holding this posture, really getting comfortable in this posture. And from here, I want you to slightly widen your stance in the legs, bringing the feet hip width distance apart. And if you're feeling ready for it today, I want you to start to bring your left hand towards the middle of the mat and take pressure off of the right hand. And with that right hand, we're going to think about holding onto our back left ankle. Now this is twisted downward dog. It's a lovely stretch for the lower back. But if you're not quite ready for it today, that's absolutely fine. You can either stay in downward facing dog or you can come down into child's pose. Lovely, and then releasing that stance. Coming back into downward facing dog. We're going to bring our knees towards the ground and we're going to relax in child's pose. Stretching out the shoulders, bringing our chest towards the floor, stretching out our hands in front of us and placing our bottom down on our heels. Really just relaxing before we try that same posture on the other side. Taking a few breaths. nice and gently with our body today. And when we're ready, we can start to come back up on up to our knees, pop our toes down onto the ground, lift the heel, lift the knees off the ground and come back into our downward facing dog position. Again, with a slightly wider stance with our feet, about hip width distance apart. We're going to now bring our right hand towards the center of the mat. And we're going to start to take pressure off of our left hand and bring that across towards our right ankle. Just feeling that lovely twist in the back nice and gently there. Again, you don't have to choose to do this position. You can, of course, go back into child's pose. And then nice and gently, breathing carefully, we can relax that hand off of the ankle, coming back into a regular downward facing dog, gazing towards the toes, then taking that gaze towards the fingertips, and stepping forward with both feet in between the hands. Coming back into that lovely forward fold position. Gazing towards the toes. Trying to reach those hands towards the floor. Or of course, keeping that back lovely and straight. And then with a nice inhale, we can sweep our hands up towards the sky bending our knees, coming back into intense pose or chair pose, keeping those knees nice and bent, gazing towards our fingertips, imagining that lovely chair is just sat there perfectly for us. And again, we want to keep our hips in, our bottom tucked in. We don't want our spine to be curved by sticking our bottom out. We want that lovely and tucked in. So taking a nice deep breath, we can extend the legs, bring your hands towards the sky and take that into a lovely back bend. Really stretching out the torso and exhaling to then raise our body back into our lovely standing pose. Okay, lovely. Now with our feet hip width distance apart from the front of our mat, we're going to step our left leg back now, keeping both legs straight, but our back foot is parallel to the short side of the mat. Raising our hands up to shoulder level, we're going to shift our body towards that front 
foot and we're going to lower our right hand towards our right ankle and take our gaze towards the left hand up above towards the sky bringing those fingertips all the way up I'm just going to hold this pose for a few breaths this triangle posture feeling that stretch in the legs and in the hip opening up the left side of the body and then very gently we're going to swap hands so sweeping our left hand towards our right ankle and then starting to raise now our right hand towards the sky so we're now in a lovely twisted triangle position now this is a little bit tricky if you're not ready for it today you're very welcome to stay in the non-twisted triangle trying to keep both legs straight and gazing towards our right fingertips now then slowly swapping hands back into our regular triangle position bringing the left fingertips towards the sky gazing towards that hand and then sweeping that hand down raising our chest up and taking both of our legs now into a wide-legged stance. We're going to take our toes and start to point them towards the short side of the mats now. We're going to come down into Empress Pose. So we want a 90 degree angle in both of our knees and we're raising up our hands as well, spreading out the fingers and we can really feel the intense strength that this takes in our bottom and legs. Really holding that core in, holding the bottom in. It's called Empress Pose. And we're really holding strong here, imagining that we're flat against a wall. And with a lovely inhale, we can raise back up, straightening both of the legs. Very well done in that posture. And from here, we're now going to do our triangle posture on the opposite side. So we want our right foot to be parallel to the short side of the mat. We're keeping both legs straight, inhaling to bring our hands and arms up towards shoulder level. We're going to shift our body towards the left hand side. And we're going to lower that left hand towards the left ankle, raising up our right hand towards the sky and taking our gaze towards those right fingertips. Now, if you're not all the way towards your ankle with that left hand, that's absolutely fine. You really can be anywhere along that leg, just avoiding the knee joint. So if you're here above the knee, that's absolutely fine as well. Nice and gently there now, we're going to take a swap in the hands, so bringing the right hand down towards the left leg and bringing the left hand up towards the sky in that twisted triangle posture if you're ready for it today. Keeping both legs nice and straight, gazing towards the left fingertips. Taking a lovely deep breath and then swapping back into our regular triangle position. Raising up that right hand towards the sky, gazing towards the fingertips and keeping that left hand along the leg somewhere, avoiding the knee joint. And with a nice big inhale, we can windmill our arms back, straighten both of the legs and relax. We're going to now come into a lovely standing posture. Just relaxing, giving ourselves a little bit of a shake. Taking a rotation in those ankles and in the shoulders as well. Okay, now once again, taking your feet hip width apart towards the front of the mat. From here, we're going to take a lovely breath, raising up our hands towards the sky, 
inhaling and exhaling down we're going to slump our shoulders forward and we're going to start to very very slowly roll our spine vertebrae by vertebrae down slowly slowly coming into a forward fold really feeling every part of the spine slowly fold down Inhaling and exhaling, nice and gently. Really feeling that lovely stretch in the spine. Rolling forward until we're then in our forward fold position. And from here I want you to just take a little bit of time to get down onto your knees. Nice and gently, just placing your bottom on your ankles. Now we're going to place our chest on the floor as well, stretching out the hands and taking a lovely child's pose. Very gently stretching out those hands in front of us, leaving the tension ease out of our lower back, feeling that stretch in the shoulders. And taking a moment to wind down. Inhaling and exhaling. Then taking a second to open your eyes, raise up our head off of the floor and come back up onto our knees. And we're going to take camel pose. So coming up onto our knees, we're going to inhale to bring our hands up over our head. Really stretching out the chest, bringing our hands then down either side of our chest, starting to reach hold of our feet. Now, if you can't reach your feet, that's fine. You can reach a little bit further back. We just want to have a lovely arch in the back there, feeling that in the shoulders. So you can either press down onto the floor behind you, or if you're feeling very flexible today, you can hold onto your feet or ankles. You want to feel that lovely stretch in the back. Equally, if you can't reach that far either, you can just hold this posture, keeping the hands above the head and just taking that lovely back bend. And then gently hinging forward again, bringing our hands in front of us once more, popping our bottom down onto our heels, bringing our hands out in front of our body and placing our forehead and chest onto the ground as far as we can, back into child's pose. Now depending on which of the camel poses you have chosen, we're going to move slowly through child's pose and camel pose two more times. Gently relaxing first in child's pose. And then again, raising our chest up, coming up onto our knees, inhaling as we bring our hands over our head and taking a lovely back bend, either staying here or bringing those hands all the way down, either behind our body to take that lovely stretch in the back, behind our feet, or if we're feeling very flexible, we can try to hold onto our heels. Really feeling that stretch, tensing the bottom, keeping it lovely and strong. And then as we exhale, we can reach out of that posture, place our hands in front of our body on the floor, place our bottom onto our heels, and come back down into child's pose. 
resting gently. Taking a few deep breaths. And one last time, raising our head off of the ground, bringing our body up, our chest up, coming up onto our knees, raising our hands above our head, taking that lovely inhale, either staying here, keeping the back lovely and arched, or bringing the hands back behind our feet into an almost camel pose slightly easier or if we're ready for it today feeling super flexible holding on to our ankles or our heels to take that full camel pose tensing the bottom and feeling that lovely stretch nice and gently and then inhaling to come back up placing our hands in front of our body, our bottom on our heels, and bringing the chest down, the head down, onto the floor, back in child's pose. Really starting to relax now. Taking a few deep breaths. Closing our eyes, feeling the tension start to leave our body. We start to feel mellow, relaxed. And keeping your eyelids nice and soft. Start to raise up your head now. And I want you to get into a comfortable position for Shavasana. Bringing out those legs in front of your body. And laying down in corpse pose on the floor. Thinking about perhaps bringing those palms up towards the sky in corpse pose. This allows the heart to stay open, the chest to stay open. To accept the practice we have just done. And closing your eyes very gently. You start to think about thanking your body for the practice today been working really hard and your body really deserves this time to relax. You're nurturing your mind after nurturing your body. You need to take this time to really feel all of your muscles Perhaps feel a little bit more relaxed now after this stretching session. Can you find tensions in your body? Can you feel any tension, any flexed muscles? And can you take your attention towards those muscles in order to intentionally relax them? Inhaling to notice the tension and exhaling to release the tension. Perhaps we can bring our attention towards the muscles in our face. Often our eyebrows hold worry. Our 
cheek muscles of stress. And if we can bring our attention towards the muscles in our face and relax them intentionally, we can insert we can set an intention now to stay calm. And we can come back to that intention throughout the day. When stress arises, we can take a lovely deep breath and come back to this moment of calm, relaxation. Our mind works better when it is focused and relaxed. Perhaps we can start to think about moving our fingers, wiggling our toes. we start to bend our knees. We could think about hugging them into our chest, holding onto our legs, cradling our body. Maybe we rock from side to side. Feeling the ground on our back, massaging the back, and perhaps rolling down onto one side, whichever feels comfortable. And then using our arms to come back up into a seated position. Perhaps placing our hands on our knees. Taking a moment to feel grounded. We need to start thinking about inhaling, lovely and slowly. And as we inhale, we can raise up our hands above our head. We can perhaps open our eyes, gazing towards those fingertips. We can exhale those hands back down, slumping the shoulders forward. We can inhale again, raising the hands up above our head and gazing towards those fingertips. And exhale once more, slumping those shoulders down and forward relaxing into our body. One more time, inhaling those hands up above our head. One deep, deep breath. And exhaling to so bring them down on either side of our body. And then placing those hands back onto the knees. Namaste everybody. Thank you so much for coming to this practice. I really hope you all enjoyed it and I hope that it helps you get through the rest of your office work. If you really enjoyed this class, um, please give me a thumbs up. That really, really helps me out and uh, do subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. And if you're really, really enjoying my channel in general and you're watching my weekly classes, if you can and you are able, I would really, really appreciate if you donated towards my channel. It's entirely optional, um, but I will pop the details in the description below if you're interested in doing that. It's very much appreciated. But thank you so much for joining me in today's practice and uh, I hope to see you next week. Bye!